Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Talk. Today the question is, who's got your keys? The question really revolves around who can restore your stuff. For example, do you want your admins to be able to restore your data or not? For most organizations, the answer is an emphatic yes. They want their admins to be able to restore your data. For uh, those who are dealing with medical data, however, HIPAA very clearly says that the answer is no. So how do you deal with these varying requirements? Well, CrashPlan has three levels of security. In all cases, the keys are located on the clients themselves. The clients have to have it in order to encrypt the data before it leaves. That way it never leaves your uh, endpoint without being in an encrypted state. The question really arises, what happens after that? Who has them? In the default mode, the key is kept on the server, but it's kept in a locked state that is retrievable by the system administrators. They can restore your data. The next level of security is private data password. The key is kept on the server, but it's locked by a password known only to the user. In order to restore any data from the user's account, that password must first be provided. It's also worth noting that the data is unrecoverable if that private data password is ever lost or forgotten. This is also the security level that most people use for HIPAA compliance. The last level is private encryption key which means exactly what it says on the tin. The client has it, but it's not held on the server at all. In order to perform any server-side restore, the entire encryption key must be provided. Now let's talk briefly about how the cloud plays into this. If you are combining cloud storage with your private master, only your private master holds the keys. It keeps your LDAP transactions private and all the rest of it. The cloud never sees your keys except in one notable condition. If you use a browser to perform a web restore, the keys are transferred from server to server and held in memory for the duration of the restore and then thrown away. Okay, everybody, that's it for this installation of Tech Talk. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time.